Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be playing some more Track Day Manager. People want to see me uh, try another race and I've been thoroughly enjoying this game. So I'm going to uh, to give it a, another go. As you see, I've, I've been playing a fair bit of this uh, <laughs> through the last couple of days. Got some new sponsors or sort of changed around some of the sponsors uh, on my car. Got a bit of money. Been doing, some, been doing some upgrading to my vehicle. We have a better cooling system, which means we can push the car for longer and it cools down quicker after you have been pushing it. We have uh, new aerodynamics on the vehicle, which means that uh, we have slightly better fuel range, a lot more downforce, and it's actually lighter, so it improves a lot of statistics. This one here was an option I could have gone for. It gives me slightly faster top speed, but nowhere near as good handling, so I figured this one was probably uh, the better one to go for, and I got better brakes at the moment. There's no real downside to brakes. Uh, <laughs> You just want as good a ones as possible, basically. I've also been upgrading my, my team and my, my guys a, a little bit with the XP that I have uh, been getting. We're going to go to uh, do a race, though. See where it puts us. See what track I have to, uh, to deal with. There's one track that, for whatever reason, my driver cannot take turn one at. He just goes off into the wall every single time. Uh, I'm not too bad here. I have done quite well at uh, this this racetrack. So, oh, it looks like we're going to be starting quite well up as well. Fantastic. Going for a slightly different strategy to the one that I used last time. Uh, not going to be, If I'm starting right up towards the front, like it's likely to be here, there's one guy with a 111, but uh, with me with a 113, I'm going to be towards the front of with these rest of these guys is 17s and uh, it's still gonna be behind me so if i'm starting towards the front i will tend to go with the soft tire uh, this lap is probably the longest lap i think of the tracks that um that, uh, that are in the game so we're probably going to end up doing three laps on the soft tires come in get the hard tires on and go to the end that's the current thinking here um, uh, not quite as far up as I would like. It's because he's so much bloody quicker than uh, than I am. One eleven is very fast. It kind of fits the AI's lap time around the cars that uh, that are in the race. So your fastest lap becomes your fastest lap you do at a track becomes your qualifying time. So if you're having a really terrible race, sometimes it's a good idea to come in the pits, get some fresh soft tyres, and just go for a qualifying lap at the end. Uh, <laughs> It can, that can sometimes be useful. What I'm going to do is basically go maximum attack. We've not had a very good start. But uh, maximum attack for these first three laps. The fuel, who cares? I've turned the ECU mode on so we can go sort of maximum. Actually, we've probably gone overload as well. Uh, go maximum attack on the fuel. We can drain as much fuel as we <laughs> as we like because we're already going to be out here for three laps. I mean, we will drink a lot of fuel in, in these three laps. It's a long, it's a long, uh, <laughs> a long lap. Oh, we've got caught up on the outside. Bugger it. It's all gone terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, sometimes you can get lucky and get through all of the crazy... Oh, I, that was... I, <laughs> I let that run into the red a little bit too much. Oh, VFG have blown their car up. We all go... Oh, we get... <laughs> Orlando Motorsport. Sorry, dude. We gave you a bit of a nudge. Gave you a big bit of a nudge through there. Now, I'm thinking if we can... Oh, don't want to overtake to the left. Overtake to the right. Get up the inside, have a dive. Oh, everybody's having a dive on everybody through here. Uh, we may get the Swedish car. We're going to go around the outside of him. No, we aren't quite going to make that manoeuvre stick. We're going to keep it on overload, though. Oh, we're going to lose another place. It's not... Uh, it's not been a good start at all in this race. It's, we've all just gone backwards. Damn it. Sometimes you can get lucky, of course. I, I was just involved in, in a bump, and then I got myself into trouble. Uh, oops, I don't want to... I'm pressing the wrong key again. Um, yeah, getting yourself involved in trouble is never a good thing. And the uh, at the start of the race, we might get Venturi here. Indeed, we will. Oop, running the risk of blowing the car up. Oh, we're at the inside of the, <laughs> the next vehicle as well. This is a bit better start to uh, this lap. He is not going to try around the outside. And <laughs> the Italian car is going to have a go as well. Okay, back up to sick. An improvement, definitely. Uh, I, gave, I lose a little bit of curse just down there just to make sure I could get past that uh, that vehicle oh he's gonna go up the inside this corner here everybody slides out wide in fact the cars up ahead have gone really wide oh the italian car's blowing his engine to bits so <laughs> we're a little bit safer than we were <laughs> in sixth place now um yeah we've got a little bit of gap to the vehicles ahead that's not they're, they're going pretty well actually uh, here you can see we're already at 58 percent fuel running with the full ecu mode and going uh, overload a lot of times around a lap you drain fuel so quickly uh, around here. I'm going to use a lot of boost out here. Uh, admittedly, like the, the cars ahead, we've actually done pretty well on this uh, this lap, catching up to the groups. 
the um, yeah, there's there's plenty of vehicles that I can try and get. The leader is just gone at the front. He's really just vanished off. I think he's started behind me. Oh, there's a car I had a big off. Uh, we want to go. We probably want to go right here. Um, there. <laughs> oh no, the Orlando Motorsport car got past everybody there. Uh, we're a little bit stuck. Let's just turn that off. Oh, now, now it's my turn up the inside. Look at that manoeuvre. All three of them uh, on the first sort of well, first straight and first braking zone. Now, use all of the curves here. I want to get away so they don't try and have a sneaky manoeuvre up the inside. We may have to go defensive. In fact, we're coming into the pits anyway at uh, the end of this lap. Now, the tyres probably could last for another lap, but it would be a slow lap. As you can see, they are pretty knackered as it is. They're not in a great, they're not in great shape, and I don't see the point in risking going for another lap. It's there's no there's no point. I, again, I probably have the fuel to do it, but the tyres will give up, and you will be very slow. Let's have a look at the cars around. He's coming into the pits. He's actually done bloody well. His car must be pretty heavily upgraded to have uh, got that much fuel left and to be that far ahead. He's coming in the pits as well. He's pitting. Uh, you can see on on here. There's a little icon at the very far corner. Oh, I've got to use up all of my Cars. This lap I was busy looking at uh, the vehicles around. Uh, Enghart is coming into the pits. I actually made up some time in that final corner. Who isn't pitting then? All of these top cars. Ah, right there we go. He's oh, oh he's he's got really good tire life. I'm impressed there with uh, with that car. Oh crap, we want hard tires. And <laughs> Nini messed that up. Yeah, we definitely don't want to try and go for the rest of the race on uh, on soft tires. Right, get the car in the pits. Put on some uh, some nice new tires. And fuel-wise, I will probably leave it till it's most of the way full. There we go. Go. Because there is no point in... You know, it wasn't a great pit stop. Uh, having this number of laps, there is no point trying to risk it. I could probably have got away with filling it slightly less on fuel, but I may want to go on the attack with cars ahead of me, so screw it. I mean, I came into the pits right on the bumper of Enghart, and we're going to come out a little bit behind, but we're not that far. We're not that far off. Where did the... I don't know what the car that was leading. Oh, Eastern Sun. They were the guys that were leading. Oh, they're coming. The pits got out ahead, and they're <laughs> they're oh, they're over. Oh God, they're so far ahead. Uh, <laughs> bugger. Well, we might still be looking at a third place after it's all filtered through because these cars. What's his tyres life doing? Yeah, his tyres. Uh, yeah, they're starting to die as well. He'll be in this lap. I don't know if we we should be okay to maintain. I think our our third place. Now I'm going to not go sort of too aggressive on this uh, this outlap. The next lap I will push. I will try and get past Enghart, uh, because I don't want to go too aggressive and kill my tyres straight away. Uh, that's my that's my concern. Yes, the hard tyres will last longer, but uh, of course if you go maximum attack with them, you, you're going to wear them out. So we're not going to quite go the the full ECU mode, the full overload at this moment in time. Also, just kind of uh, see how we're doing with fuel. Uh, we are, yeah, everybody, everybody's in the pits. There's one car, I think, that hasn't gone to the pits who's out there. Is it really still? Oh, he is brave. <laughs> he is very brave going for that long without pitting. That is liable to end end him in some in some trouble there. A little bit of lag uh, going on at the moment. Uh, Enghart have got, I mean, we are, in fact, we are miles ahead of the, uh, yeah, I've got a huge gap behind me. Right, we may start going on the attack now. We've got 77% worth of fuel. We've got three laps to go. I think we can start going on the attack. Tires are in good condition. I would be... Well, both of them two there are going to have... Both the top two are going to have to pit. In fact, he's uh, in real trouble with his... Both his tires and his fuel. Ooh, will he make it to the... Uh, <laughs> to the pits? I don't know. I think we're... Oh, no, wait. I'm looking at the, the slightly the wrong place on the map. Um... I'm actually quite confused as to where the, the leader is. The leader, I think it's the red dot that's... I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's going to be cars up ahead. Two more cars, I think, are going to have to pit. He's... Oh, no, maybe he has been to the pits then. Or maybe the game in the lag has got a little bit confused. It occasionally does that. They're doing their best. I don't think I've seen the game been updated more in the last few days than this one. They're doing their best to try and uh, fix the servers. I certainly appreciate it. Um, but I think a car may have got confused somewhere. There's someone in the pit. Never mind, I'll just deal with, I've got to get past Enghart. Basically, that's what we'll deal with. Yeah, so that car there was in the pits, has lost uh, quite a lot of ground, stayed out too long, basically, killed his tyres. Uh, he's going to slide all the way back uh, through the order. This puts me up into, I think, what should be second... I don't I'm confused. Uh, unless this, the, the, the Stratoli racing team have suddenly made up 
uh, absurd amounts of time, yeah, because the the car that I think should be leading, the Eastern Sun car, is sort of a quarter, well, a couple of quarters ahead of us. He's done, <laughs> he's done a bloody good job of uh, of managing this this particular race. We've got a vehicle still still on our tail. Enghart is still there, they're hanging around. Uh, yeah, this is still very much an early access game. It has its it has its little little. Uh, bugs, little laggy issues here and there. Uh, it's a very, very fun game. Uh, I, I, like you. I will overlook the uh, the slight server connection issues uh, because it is an incredible the gameplay. Is, is really excellent uh, on here. We've got a couple of laps to go. Our fuel. I'm going to have to be careful. That pushing it to get past Enghart has put me in a little bit of um, concern with the fuel. I've basically got to do 20. Uh, about 20% of fuel a lap. I think I can do that, but if the Enghart car starts coming back at me, that's when I'll be in trouble. That's when I'll be in lots of trouble because I can't now go aggressive. I've used up the extra fuel that I had in my car. We're now going to have to just sit and hope. Sit and hope and fingers crossed that we can make it and then he doesn't suddenly pick up speed. How is he doing? He's on 30% fuel, so he's slightly worse off than me on fuel. Uh, he is pushing it quite hard. He's going to have a look at the inside, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, don't take me out. God damn it. Wait. Come on, Ferris Motorsport car. Keep it around the outside. Come on, you can do it. You can... No, keep it there. Don't let him pass. There we go. Well done. Well held. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to make it easy for you. Uh, we've got absolutely no fear from the car. Yeah, the car's behind are quite a long way back. So this is the battle for... I think it should be second, but um, the game is currently reckoning that it's uh, that it's third. Um, but sure, we'll we'll worry about this. <laughs> I, we'll just worry about beating Enghart, basically. Or we are going to be incredibly tight on fuel. We are going to be real. It's going to be crossing the line on one percent fuel. I think I have done the whole cross the line with one percent of fuel left. It's not what I want to be doing, but. Uh, <laughs> We can do it. I cannot go attack. I cannot go overload uh, because if I if I start doing that, we will not finish. Basically, uh, I re just, just please just sip sip little bits of fuel, Raptor. Just, uh, just please be nice. Please be kind to the car. In fact, we may not even bloody finish the race if it's going to. Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite. But we'll just, we'll just keep the Enghart car behind. We'll go full. We'll go full block, and we'll worry about the other thing after the race. Oh, Enghart car's blowing his engine. He's pushed too hard. It looks like if our driver stops, be it stop sliding the damn car. You fool! We do not need to be sliding around these corners now. We have no car directly behind us. The car ahead is is absolutely miles gone. We've just got to conserve fuel. We've just got to. Oh God, all of the AIs are running out of fuel. Three of the buggers have gone so far. Uh, little little bits of fuel now, please, until the end of the race. Enghart! Oh, Enghart's out of fuel! <laughs> Enghart's gone! He's pushed it too hard trying to get past me. I think I would make the finish, but I think we're going to run out of time anyway. Uh, we should still make it across the, the line with the uh, with the car. We are going to finish on 1%. Or we will cross the line on 1% fuel. There we go. Finish first? What? I'm going uh, <laughs> the game has got really confused. Apparently, we're no. I I was definitely second in uh, in that race. Ah, so the car that I said was completely out of it. He did a really good job of uh, of coming back there. Got himself uh, into into third place with those soft tyres at the end of the race. It's uh, that was quite quite impressive. I thought he was done and dusted, but um, that strategy worked out quite well. Um, yeah, we finished. We li we literally crossed the line with 1% fuel. I'm surprised the car hasn't run out of fuel now. Uh, <laughs> if you cross the line with very little fuel, you do occasionally see them littering the road when they uh, when they run out. There's the Enghart car that I battled so fiercely with for uh, <laughs> for the laps. We got a, a second place. Yeah, the servers are still a tad, uh, a tad dodgy. The leaderboard doesn't have a clue what's going on at the moment, and they are doing their absolute best to uh, to fix it. But uh, that was a, another fantastic race. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. How did the Eastern Sun car do? Yeah, he finished on a bit better. He was a bit better on fuel than I was. Uh, about a similar tire condition. He's obviously got some uh, some decent upgrades on this car. Uh, but yeah, I'm still very much very much enjoying this game, and I highly recommend that. Uh, 
that you support it. There's so much potential in this. And with the once the servers become nice and stable, it's uh, yeah, really very, very fun game. Anyway, that is it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And until next time, uh, goodbye.